Hi, welcome to question 6 in centripetal force circular motion. Okay, let us read the question together. Some eggs are placed in an open basket and is rotated safely so that it defines a vertical circle of radius 1 meter. Calculate the minimum speed at the topmost position of the circular motion such that the eggs do not fall out of the basket. Okay, again, this is a, you know, you have top position, bottom position, it's a vertical circle. Okay, so this is again a vertical circle questions. Right, right come on. Uh, okay, this is a vertical circle questions. Uh, okay, we have the radius here. We have the radius R. It asks us to find a minimum speed. speed. Minimum speed. At where? At the top. At the top position so that it does not fall out from the basket. You know, when the uh, almost not fall out, actually it's almost fall out lah. Yeah, almost fall out. Almost fall out means the normal force equal to zero. Uh, yeah, I will explain why. I will explain why. Yeah? Lose contact from the surface. When you fall out means I uh, lose contact from the basket. Lose contact from the basket. No more, no force. The zero normal force. Okay. All right. We have the radius. He gave us a one meter radius, and um, at the top position, this is the top position. Yeah. Top position. Uh, okay. So at the top position, you must draw the free body diagram first. Yeah. You must draw the free body diagram. Draw a point mass first. All the forces must come from the point mass. The center of the circle is at the bottom, below below the block. Okay. Uh, all right. So the egg, you know that uh, actually the egg. Uh, uh, here's the egg. Uh, actually, uh, if you imagine, imagine the thing. Uh, it, the egg is like that. So it has um, as the normal force is experience a normal force from the bottom of the basket, and also its own weight. Uh, all right. Uh, the egg uh, is like attached to the to the basket at the bottom. So uh, the bottom of the basket gives the normal force, and the egg itself has its own weight downward. So, uh, so that's why our weight is downward. Normal force also downwards, and our centripetal acceleration is downward. Uh, it's downward because the center of circle is below the basket. So centripetal acceleration is towards the center, so that's why centripetal acceleration is downward. Understand? Uh, and we must draw, we must label positive and negative. Uh, follow acceleration is positive, opposite acceleration is negative. So what I can say is weight and normal force, same direction as the centripetal acceleration. So both of this is positive. So write that. Okay? The weight and the normal, they are positive. Both of them are positive because same direction as acceleration. Uh, and then, um, okay, we have, uh, okay, we want to find the minimum speed. We want to find V. So our AC, we use formula V squared over R. We use V squared over R. Okay? All right. Uh, now, the question asks for minimum speed. That means the speed is minimum. The speed is minimum. That means it's very small, small speed. Okay. What changes, what can change with the speed? What uh, can change with the speed is the normal force. You see, in this equation, in this equation, the weight, the weight is a constant. The weight is a constant. The mass is constant, the radius also constant, the radius of circle is constant, mass is constant, weight is a constant. The, the speed changes, yeah? speed got minimum speed, so the normal become minimum also. Uh, the, the normal, when speed decrease, the normal also decrease. Uh, so what is the minimum normal force? Can be zero lah. Uh, yeah, the minimum... Normal force can be is the zero. Speed minimum when 
no more force equal to zero. You understand that? A speed minimum when no more force equal to zero. Uh, when no more force equal to zero, that means what? That means the egg almost uh, fall out. Uh, not in contact with basket. Loot or not in contact with the basket or loose or loose we can say loose contact lah i loose contact from the basket uh loose contact from the basket no more for zero uh okay almost uh so uh so put n equal to zero so what do we have uh so what do we have so w plus zero uh, we get mv uh, minimum uh, minimum where divide by r okay so uh, oh our w is mg our w is mg our w is mg so we can cut the mass we don't need the mass you give the mass or not uh, i didn't give the mass never mind we can cut the mass off so sometimes not all information must be given because the, 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 the variable can be cut off. So no longer in the equation. No need to consider the value. Okay, so uh, V minimum uh, square is equal to RG. So our minimum speed is equal to square root RG. Uh, so we have the radius is 1 meter. Okay, radius 1 meter, uh, sorry, radius 1 meter, 1 meter, so G value is, it didn't specify, huh? so G value just put 9.81, yeah, 9.81, so you must be careful what value of G is specified, sometimes it specifies G equal to 10, if G equal to 10, you must put 10, don't put 9.81, look uh, whether it specify G or not, uh, if no specify means 9.81. So it's a minimum speed is 3.13 meter per second. Yes. So this is the minimum speed you need to turn the, the basket in order for that the egg do not fall out. Uh, if your speed is uh if your speed is uh v uh 3.12 uh 3.12 meter per second. Uh, lower than the minimum, uh, then the egg will fall out already. For sure. The egg will fall out. If the speed, if your speed is less than the minimum, then your egg will fall out. So you must put at least uh, 3.13 and above. The velocity must be 3.13 and above. Then only the egg will not fall out. Yeah? Uh, because you know the the egg is a uh, the balik you know the egg is the egg is the balik uh, the egg is the balik so it will fall out it will fall out from the basket if it is too slow if it is too slow uh, then the egg will fall out so you must maintain at this speed three point one three at least yeah uh, three point one four okay three point to put one uh, uh ten meter per second is the best uh yeah. So the speed must be at least 3.13 and above. Then only the egg will not fall out. Okay? And so that's it for uh, these questions. I hope you enjoy. See you for the next time. Bye!